Welcome back to Newsday. Even with the acute shortage of finance for running public tertiary institutions in Nigeria, the federal government, University Dutsinma in Katsina State, is shooting up from three faculties to 13 that are running more than 80 programs with a student's population of 25,000. The Vice Chancellor, Professor Amaya Bichi, is expressed an appreciation to the Education Trust Fund, which, according to him, the university is getting tremendous financial support from. In an interview with Arise News in Katsina, Professor Bichi says the university is widening its corporate social responsibility for the host communities, especially in the areas of girl-child education and economic empowerment. He adds that the recent COVID-19 pandemic has made the university to be a hybrid teaching method. We have a make impact in the main campus. We have built the almost 90% of the structures there were built by Ted One. Issue of managing smaller resources is issue of accountability. If you are accountable and you put uh, people to supervise, uh, a lot of work can be done with a little money. So the little we have, we make sure we utilize them properly. We engage competent people to look after all the construction works and our physical planning and works department are doing a nice work, always monitoring what is happening. We have a budget monitoring committee which supervise all out of control and the construction work. So this little resources we are able to make much impact. And initially the funding process of the university make it an ICT driven university. So now after the pandemic, we came and sit down and look at how teaching can be done a piece efficiently and effectively even if the student cannot access classes. So we are now concentrating more on which I, this is what I want to leave as a legacy, that the teaching shall be hybrid, where students can come to the class and have physical interaction with their teachers, and they can also sit at home and learn. The teachers go there online, make lecture presentation, and the student can ask questions. An answer session can take place when they are at the comfort of their homes. So we are working hard with the ICT people and we are developing more softwares that can enhance virtual teaching and make us reliant, even if there is any pandemic which we are not praying, but if for any sense the student cannot access physically to the class, they can rely on their phone or other devices to learn at home and have contact with their teachers. Nigeria's acting inspector general of